Good morning. Um, whew, we were up till 3 o'clock last night finishing this uh, advertising up. And uh, I want to show it to you in a minute, see what you think of it. I've, uh, I've been back about uh, 8 to 10 weeks, and uh, we've been working really hard. Uh, and what we're trying to do uh, is, is not something really highfalutin. We're, we're trying to get back to the basics. Uh, we're trying to get back to the basics of great products, great marketing, and great distribution. Uh, and I think that, that Apple has, has pockets of greatness, but in some ways has drifted away from, from doing the basics really well. So we started um, with the product line. We looked at the product roadmap going out for a few years, and we said a lot of this doesn't make sense. And it's way too much stuff, and there's not enough focus. And so we actually got rid of 70% of the stuff on the product roadmap. I mean, I couldn't even figure out the damn product line after a few weeks. I, I kept saying, well, what is this model? How does this fit? And I started talking to customers, and they couldn't figure it out either. And so you're going to see the product line get much simpler, and you're going to see the product line get much better. And there's some new stuff coming out that's incredibly nice. Uh, in addition, we've been able to focus a lot more on the 30% of the gems and add some new stuff in that is going to take us in some whole new directions. So we are incredibly excited about the products. And I think we're, we're really thinking differently about the kinds of products we have to build. And the engineering team is incredibly excited. I mean, I came out of the meeting with people that had just gotten their projects canceled, and they were, they were three feet off the ground with excitement because they finally understood where in the heck we were going, and they were really excited about the strategy. In the same way, we, I think, have not been as, we have not kept up with innovations in our distribution. Well, I'll give, I'll give you an example. I'm sure it was talked about this morning, but you know, we've got anywhere from, from two to three months of inventory in our manufacturing supplier pipeline and about an equal amount in our distribution channel pipeline. So we're having to make guesses four, five, six months in advance about what the customer wants. And we're not smart enough to do that. I don't think Einstein's smart enough to do that. So what we're going to do is get really simple and start taking inventory out of those pipelines so we can let the customer tell us what, we, what they want and we can respond to it super fast. And you're going to see us be doing a lot of things like that. Today is, is just the first of many things we're going to be doing with you. So we're going to be not only, I think, catching up to where the best of the best are in distribution, but we're going to actually be innovating and be breaking some new ground, I think, uh, in the coming several months. And I'm, I'm pretty excited about that as well in the distribution manufacturing side of things. And that gets us to the marketing side of things. Um, to me, marketing is about values. This is a very complicated world. It's a very noisy world. And we're not going to get a chance to get people to remember much about us. No company is. And so we have to be really clear on what we want them to know about us. Now, Apple, fortunately, is one of the half a dozen best brands in the whole world, right up there with Nike, Disney, Coke, Sony. It is one of the greats of the greats, not just in this country, but all around the globe. And, but, but, but even a great brand needs investment and caring if it's going to retain its relevance and vitality. And the Apple brand has clearly suffered from neglect in this area in the last few years. And we need to bring it back. The way to do that is not to talk about speeds and feeds. It's not to talk about MIPS and megahertz. It's not to talk about why we're better than Windows. The dairy industry tried for 20 years to convince you that milk was good for you. It's a lie, but they tried anyway. And <laughs> the sales were going like this. And then they tried Got Milk, and the sales have gone like this. Got Milk doesn't even talk about the product. Matter of fact, it focuses on the absence of the product. <laughs> but, but, but the best example of all, and, and one of the greatest jobs of, of marketing in the, in the universe has ever seen, is Nike. Remember, Nike sells a commodity. They sell shoes. And yet, when you think of Nike, you feel something different than a shoe company. 
in their ads, as you know, they don't ever talk about the products. They don't ever tell you about their air soles and why they're better than Reebok's air soles. What does Nike do in their advertising? They, they honor great athletes and they honor great athletics. That's who they are. That's what they are about. Apple spends a fortune on advertising. You'd never know it. <laughs> You'd never know it. 